everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Paper Towns. Paper Towns is based off of the book written by author John Green, the same author that brought you The Fault in Our Stars, The Film Stars, Nat Wolf, and Cara Delevingne. De La Vigny. So this film is about this boy named Quentin who falls in love with the girl named Margot. They lived next door ever since they were little kids. They hung out a lot when they were little kids and then as they grew older they really haven't been talking to each other until one night when Margot all of a sudden just goes up to Quentin's house asking him to help her with all of these revenge plots because of her boyfriend cheating on her this whole entire time and then all of a sudden Margot disappears and no one has seen Margot since that night Quentin has spent with her. So it's up to Quentin along with his friends to go on a search and find Margot with all these clues that she is leaving him. So going into Paper Towns, I was both intrigued but I was worried about this movie at the same time. This is from the same guy that wrote the book, The Fault in Our Stars. And I did see The Fault in Our Stars, but very late. I missed The Fault in Our Stars last year when it came out in theaters. I didn't get to review it for this channel because I saw that film way too late. I actually think somewhere at the beginning of 2015, I finally saw The Fault in Our Stars on Netflix. And I actually did like The Fault in Our Stars. I thought it was a good film. Film. It handled the concept with the whole cancer subject very well. You know, I cared about the characters, Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort. They did a really great job together. To rate it, I would give it three out of four stars. And now that I've seen Paper Towns, I'm really happy to say that this was a great movie. This was a really engaging movie with a really great thought-provoking message about embracing the moment in your life. Don't think too much about the future, you know. Live in the moment, you know, just embrace it, have fun. And this film expresses that message incredibly well. It's like, don't focus too much on what's coming in your life, but focus on what's happening right now. Because if you focus too much on what's coming, you're really going to miss out big time on the moment that's right in front of you. And I actually do really like Nat Wolf. You know, he's been in a couple of films lately. I'm glad to see him getting started in his career. I do recognize him from that Nickelodeon show, The Naked Brothers Band. Does anyone remember growing up with that show? Uh, yeah. I still question to this day, how can a Nickelodeon show be called The Naked Brothers Band? But whatever. I will just start off by saying that Nat Wolf does give a really great performance here. He does a really great job of showing you this awkward, shy kid. Like, he really plays this awkward kid so well. You really buy him into it. And you really buy into the fact that he's really in love with Margot. This is the kid that has been living next door to the love of his life since they were little. So you definitely do buy into him really caring about Margot, his passion for Margot. At limited time, you see Quentin and Margot together. You really buy into it. You're just so engaged into their whole relationship and where the storyline is going and Cara Delevingne who I'm aware it was a model and I think I think this is her first film I gotta say this she actually did do a really good job the other actors like from Houston Sage and Quentin's friends I thought they did a really good job in the movie it's really interesting how this movie becomes three different things you know, into one feature film. It was a romance film at one point, then it becomes a mystery film, then it becomes a road trip film. How it balances those things were very well done. I was impressed by the style of the film. The editing was fantastic. The cinematography looked absolutely gorgeous. When it comes to the nighttime, how it was shot, I was blown away like wow and the music that flows through paper towns was also incredible the movie is very well directed and just like with the movie the fault in our stars this movie does do a really great job of 
giving the characters development and making you care about the characters because they just feel so real and so genuine. And that's honestly thanks to the well-crafted script that Paper Towns was given. The writing to this movie is really good. Now, the only flaws I do have with Paper Towns is that this character, Ben, who is one of Nat Wolf's best friends, I thought, let's say for the first 45 minutes, I actually thought he was a little bit annoying. The movie would try to be funny with this character, and it just wasn't working for me. And speaking of this movie trying to be funny, I will say the humor in this movie isn't exactly the strongest thing about it. There are definitely highlights in this movie. There's a cameo at this gas station. Of course, I'm not going to spoil the cameo, but I will say that was actually one of the funniest parts about Paper Towns. The movie does have some humor that worked for me. That was very well done. But most of the humor didn't exactly quite hit for me. And the final problem I will say about the movie is that the ending does feel very anticlimactic because the whole journey that this movie takes you was really engaging to me. I was so into the story. Once you reach to the climax of the movie, it kind of felt like the journey was for nothing, honestly. The ending does not ruin the whole movie for me. I will say that because I don't hate the ending. I get what the ending was trying to do. At the same time, it is a bit underwhelming because I was hoping for a better payoff. But overall, you guys, even with the ending not having the payoff I was hoping it would have, I still think Paper Towns is a great movie. So I'm going to give Paper Towns three and a half out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Paper Towns and also which of the two films do you think is better, The Fault in Our Stars or Paper Towns? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!